Hello again, world, especially you folks that back in Audubon, New Jersey. This is Gus from sunny downtown Ording, Washington, where I have moved to to get as, about as far away from you people as I can because I heard it's expensive and congested there. But only kidding, because I miss the shore. I miss Wildwood. I miss the Atlantic City of my younger days, which that's another story for later. You're going to hear about what Atlantic City was really like circa 1958 when I went to my first rock and roll concert and saw, saw the Peanut Man. But you know, that's not what we're going to talk about now because I'm going to send you a video that's not my video, just like I've just posted one about that little pot, almost car wreck there on Merchant Street in Audubon in 2009. I want to talk to some of you kids, you older kids, of course, like I have muscular dystrophy. Everybody says, well, that's kids, isn't it? I say, yeah, but I'm one of Jerry's older kids. No, it's not really for kids, folks. Just remember, they pandering to you to give money to for children, and people always give more money for children, even though there's a lot more adults out there with muscular dystrophy. Some of the greatest ones kill children very early, and need for research to try to prolong their lives, of course. Okay, enough of that. Do you kids remember back in the 50s where you would go at Christmas time? Where did you see Santa Claus in Audubon? It wasn't at the pop shop. It wasn't at the five and dime. It wasn't at the school. Where did you see Santa? And get a box of hard candy and an apple or an orange from the table. Where did you also go? Where did we all go in those days to bury just about anybody we ever knew? Where was the funeral and where was Santa? The same place, Foster's Funeral Home, White Horse Pike. And that's where we went to see Santa. I guess that's about the end of the story. I don't know when that began. I don't know when it ended. Maybe it never did. Maybe they still do it there for you younger, younger kids. Did any of you out there go to Foster's and get your box of candy and your orange or and see Santa and walk in, walk out? Probably in the days before we really knew what Foster's was for. And then sadly, we, we did bury our relatives and friends through there. Uh, little Johnny Chapman, my neighbor, accidentally strangled himself at age five. My grandmother, my grandfather, uh, later on, uh, Mr. Callan went through there. Um, other children of note. Uh, does anybody from my era remember? Oh, Marshall, Alan Marshall, at 1962, already left school, going in the Army, driving around the lake up there in Collinswood, I think, and hit a tree and died. Alan, you're still kept alive by our memories. Any case, that's my short story today, Foster's Funeral Home up there on the White Horse Pike. It's still in business. And I, along with this video, I'm sandwiching that video that I found on the internet for your enjoyment. See if you remember the rooms uh, for either Santa or where your loved one left from. This is Gus from Ording saying keep rocking and rolling. I'm doing the rolling part. You guys do the rocking and we'll talk at you later on the rebound, some blah, 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 whatever the radio guys used to do. Love the radio. Bye now.